touchdown in Marrakesh. Just got our bags and uh, we're supposed to have a driver waiting for us. So, Let's see if I can uh, find him. <laughs> wow. <laughs> First observation, it's a little sensory overload, a lot going on inside the Medina. I'm glad that we paid for uh, the hotel specific transport. opted to uh, have dinner here tonight at our Riyadh right next to the pool it's very lovely all right all right you got this oh <laughs> this is what Morocco is famous for basically they let uh, the meat stew in a clay pot and uh, that's what a uh, to genius. Waking up and enjoying some breakfast this morning. Some of it is traditional Moroccan pastries, um, and some yogurt, some fresh squeezed orange juice. So it's a good way to start the day. Oh yeah, you're professional at this point. We just left the hotel and we're already lost. It is quite a maze in the Medina. A lot of different alleyways. Uh, it's part of the adventure. Finally in Palais de Bahia. It was built in the 19th century by Ahmed bin Musa. And he named the palace after his wife, Bahia. It's not hard to see why it's considered one of the grandest palaces in Morocco. There's a lot of intricate details inside the building, just beautiful tile work, beautiful arches. It's a great place to visit when you're here in Marrakesh. Moroccan dirham is a closed currency, meaning you can only get it within the country. Um, luckily, there's a lot of exchanges uh, around Bahia Palace if you plan on going there. Um, otherwise, you can exchange uh, your US dollars or your euro uh, at the airport. So we just walked into Jama'a El Fina, and as expected, there is a ton going on. A lot of people, a lot of different shops so you can buy things. Um, we're going to take a look around, obviously. Oh, look, she's making the uh, thing. Uh, we're here in the main souk. Um, it's very nice and shaded. Don't have to worry about the heat. Uh, a lot of cool things to see. A lot of people, obviously. And uh, if you want something, you really got to negotiate hard for it. Usually, you're able to bring the prices down 50%. This is a hundred. No hundred. No hundred. No hundred. No hundred. Give me a serious price. How much? It was. Uh... I'm looking at it's like 40. 40? But I think those are the big ones. Hmm? Take this. That one? Okay. That's bigger. Okay. Bigger? 200. Mm -mm. 120. 120. 150. 150? For a bigger one? What do you think? 150? Okay. Well, One's let's check it online. One, 130. 140. 140? Okay. 130. Okay, awesome. okay, okay. 130. Okay. Black cumin or nigel seed mixed with lavender and rosemary. So good for people who have like asthma, allergies against cats, dogs, and horses, people who snore at night, and migraine too. Oh, people black snore at night. Yeah, <laughs> it's quite efficient. Too. Inhale in an instant inhale. You put this one right here. And you breathe it in? Yeah, breathe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let me rebind, rebind these. Oh, <laughs> yes. Woo! It's 
since we're such uh, high paying customers here, we're getting some free tea. <laughs> the infusion process. Oh yeah, of course. Got quite the haul from shopping all day in the souks. We're headed back to the hotel, get ready for our afternoon tea. Here in luxury land, Royal Mansar. Very nice. about ready to have afternoon tea here at the Royal Mansar, uh, one of the finest hotels in Marrakesh. How much is it nightly here? <laughs> it's a lot. It's like 900 a night. 900 a More night. More than that. I can see that. It's like we're starting off with some ice cream. Ice cream. It's perfect. alleyway where our Riyadh is located. It's right over there. And uh, museum's right here. <laughs> We're here at Maison de la Photographie. And it's a great way to look at historic photos of Marrakesh. Um, a great way to learn about its history. So let's check it out. You're done at the museum, you come up to the rooftop and uh, they have a cafe. You can enjoy the view and a few snacks or drinks. Are those the. Is this prayer time? last full day here in Marrakesh and we are just exploring the inner walls of the Medina. Fortunately the Ben Yusuf school is closed. Uh, the pictures look beautiful but probably have a reason to come back now. So we're here at Le Jardin Secret. It's the secret garden. This garden is part of one of the most largest and ancient Riyads. The Riyadh went through quite an extensive restoration from 2013 to 2016 and uh, visitors are able to enjoy all its beauty today. Trying out uh, this Lamida. It is a Moroccan fusion restaurant. Looks pretty good. So, um, we were completely off. We are pretty far. Oh, wow. <laughs> Going in the opposite direction. Um, that goes to show you how easy it is to get lost here. Made it back to our Riyadh. While we were out there, we overheard a tour guide uh, saying it was less crowded because it's Friday. And the reason uh, for less crowd is because Friday is actually uh, the holy day, according to the Quran. So it'd be like, you know, Christians on a Sunday. So if you want to come and see less crowds in Marrakesh, try to be here on a Friday. So we uh, just took a cab outside the Medina walls and we're in kind of an upscale area. 
Um, we plan on having dinner at Kamtua Dharna. Uh, it's one of the places where you can have a great meal and a live belly dancing show. So we're really looking forward to that. Time has come to leave Marrakesh. Uh, today is our last day here. It's definitely a, an eye-opener. The culture shock is at a higher level than other places we've been on this trip. But we had a lovely time here. Highly recommend staying in the Medina, in a Riyadh, to get the full Moroccan experience. My favorite part of this trip definitely had to be the mint tea. We drank a lot of mint tea and it was delicious every time. So I hope this inspires you to come here to Morocco. Um, thanks for watching and see you guys on the next adventure.